Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and this is All or Nothing by John Allen. Before we do this, can you please like, subscribe and very importantly, check out cardmagiccourse.com. That's what makes all this possible. That's my online card magic course, which is growing every week. We just recorded a whole, well, we, me, uh, just recorded a whole new course on the Faro Shuffle from beginner to end. And we have live sessions every week, which are uploaded to the course as well. Plus 400 plus videos of all the moves you're ever going to need and more. Uh, learn from a pro. That's me. So... This is going to be a strange one, um, and it's, so I can't, bear with me, I can't tell you what happens in the effect, because, and I quite like this, John has released this very openly, saying it's an idea that if you saw the trailer and you saw the effect, you would probably be able to do it, which is a really honest thing to say, and this goes back to, yeah, you know, I remember when I first got into magic, you would quite often buy an idea, and I suppose you still do if you think of mentalism now, and I suppose this is a mentalism effect, depending on how you play it, uh, and present it, and the present presentation's really, really important. Um, but this is something that is an idea. You're buying an idea, you're buying the the, the kind of rights, I suppose, but not in, in that way, just, you know, someone's put the work in, come up with the idea, come up with the premise, and said, here it is, and it's released to the magic community. Now, John is someone that has a reputation, and as he says again, he's, he's putting his reputation at stake. He's selling something sight unseen, and what he's got in order to sell that is his reputation. And he has got a good one for a reason. He's very good. And someone said this last night. We were having a chat. Well, I was chatting to some other magicians. And uh, one of them who really knows his stuff says, John's very good at coming up with ideas that make you think, oh, I wish I'd have thought of that. Or, Why didn't I think of that? You know, with the silent treatment, uh, with the Paragon Box, with all, all of his stuff. And his book's great as well. Um, he just is, is he's someone that has his foot in the sort of creative side and the performance side, he does both. And, and I also think, you know, sometimes I, I usually think that people are either the people that sit in your rooms coming up with the ideas or they're the people that perform. And John does both. So he kind of he tried and tested stuff. And this is something that can be done on Zoom. He's created it with that in mind. But as he says in the download, this isn't just for Zoom. This can work anywhere. Uh, it's it's kind of it feels good on Zoom. It feels like something. It, it's a connection and there's a presentation there, but it can easily work on stage. And I think there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. So what do we know? This is a 50/50 thing. We know that it's, it's someone choosing 50/50, but it's it's obviously not just that. If it was just that, that would be rubbish. Um, you know, fine. But it's 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 what it does with that. And it is something you can use, which is kind of a thing, physical thing, and a, a premise that creates more around this idea. So all I'll say is that it brings the past into the routine, which is very, very important, and so with some uh, ideas of future. But it is something that's so much fun. I've done it twice now on Zoom, and I did want to make sure I did that before I recorded this. I made it up, and it is something you can make very, very easily. You might have to go and get a couple of things, but a lot of you will have that in there. And um, you, you, you can do a version which he calls the craft intensive version, which isn't really. I banged it up in about a minute. All right. Uh, so you, you make the thing or you can make a craft unintensive version, which is it's fine. Um, and, and you can that will you can do that straight away pretty much. Uh, so when you see, when I first saw this, and John did zoom in, I had some footage of the zoom, um, but I lost it, but I, I couldn't have shown anything really anyway of him doing it, but uh, I just giggled, I thought it was really fun, really good, At the, the second I saw it, I kind of thought, yeah, that's good, and then it was a matter of minutes when I kind of went, no, that's really good, and then I thought about it, and it, I, I think about it a lot, I've made it up, and even as I was doing it today, I was thinking of different things I could say to add to the presentation. So it's very, it's really ready for you to just put whatever presentation you want on top of it. He does provide some really good ideas and some scripting on the downloads. Uh, you get one download which tells you how to make it and gives you the, the basic nuts and bolts of the thing. And then the second download gives you lots of ideas of, of different things you can do, even make different props. Once you've got this premise, um, you can use it in a different way. So he does this thing where 
he has an extension of it so you can do the routine as is but then you can add layers onto it or then there's a, a way of using this premise with a deck of cards and there's a way of using the premise with a different kind of story with a totally different kind of presentation that feels like it's stepping away from the premise but really does use the same thing so he has come up with something that makes you go what it, it seems so simple but it's so good and it's easy and which is really nice it's really nice to open a show or and I do see this as it's a really good opener but it can be done in the middle I wouldn't say it's one that you got it's not it's not the kind of trick that's kind of anything like oh it's the best slight I've seen in ages or it's it's nothing like that it's something that's more and I don't mean this in a bad way I mean this is a good way it's simple the premise is simple they get involved you connect with them and they kind of you can there's a fun in it and there's a play in it because you know that it's so easy that you haven't got to worry You'll be able to, yes, there's a little tiny bit of practice involved just to get comfortable, but for me that was about 20 minutes of playing and then I got on Zoom and um, and felt I could do it with confidence. I wasn't like shaking and going, it's just going to go well. So uh, it's great fun. I don't know what else I can say. Listen, it's a download, it's, it's whatever price it is, what is it, about 15 quid, something like that, but it's... Um, I th it's worth a punt. It, it, I don't think many people are going to get it and go, that's rubbish. If you've really got an awareness of what audience is like and what works and plays commercially, I think you'll like it. And I think it's something you'll put into any kind of show straight away. Uh, if you're going to do this with with Walkabout, I would say the only thing is there's a... No, because you can... I was going to say there's an angle thing, but it, there really isn't. You can work around that. And like I said, there's different versions for different situations uh, on here as well. But I think John's come up with... I, when he spoke to me, he's excited about it. You know, he, he, he really likes it. And you do... There is a kind of cheekiness to it, which I think is, is really fun. And you can, hopefully you can see and you, I'm communicating that it's something I like very much and I've played with and is without doubt going straight in my Zoom show. Uh, so that's all or nothing. It's a lovely idea. And, um, you know, when, if you are thinking, oh, well, you know, I, need, I need, really need to see what this is, you don't. You know, this is, what, this is the, one of the nice things about magic. It kind of encompasses that thing of what magic should be, even for us, you know, even, you know, to buy a download that has a bit of secrecy around it, I think is a really fun thing. And it's definitely not a kind of marketing exercise at all. I don't think... Um, you know, I think he would be thinking, oh, is this going to is this going to hurt the sales of it? And he hasn't said that to me, but obviously there's a risk in this. Uh, but it shows to me that he really cares about it, that he cares about magic and he cares about kind of, the, you know, keeping it sacred in a way. So if you do get this, I do ask you, please don't share it. Let's keep this thing going because you, you really don't want loads of people just taking it and making it, you know, give, give a bit of... Um, a bit of support to the creator and this is an independent creation so so uh, even more reason to kind of give him your money i reckon again we know each other but we, we're really not close friends or anything we i don't think we've ever hung out and had a drink so it's i'm not saying that just because it's, it's not a biased review uh, i really like it i think it's great fun um, and that's all or nothing by john allen so thank you very much and do like subscribe Check the little bell icon for when I go live. I do go live every Thursday night at around about 20 past five. It may be changed slightly uh, each time. Maybe quarter past 20 past five. I go live every week to um, comment on your comments. So do please comment, comment below. Ask any questions. Obviously, I cannot tell you what the effect is, but, um, but you've got enough to go on, I reckon. So like, subscribe, as I said. Uh, check out cardmagiccourse.com and stay safe. Have a great one and be kind to each other. Bye-bye.